So think of the lead generation model, the, it, the database. It is all about a positioning battle. Um, again, you know, in the MREA, Gary Keller talks about this, and it, it really is, there's only so much room in our brains for, for really for anything, right? We can name a certain number of potato chip companies and then we, we just run out. We can name a certain number of, you know, certain number of uh, shoe designers and then we get to a point where we stop. Well, based on this, you know, Gary Keller's looking at it and going, you know what, if people can typically do, you know, two to, or, I'm sorry, but, you know, around seven of these other businesses, they're probably only gonna keep two to three realtors at most top of the mind. So we wanna make sure that we're positioned to win the battle and we are top of the mind. So we wanna look at the three key areas of lead generation. And guys, I know that some of you have heard this, most of you heard this so many times, and yet we're hoping that the more we say it, that the more we'll actually all start living it. Um, so the three key areas, prospecting and marketing, setting up the database and feeding it, and then systematically marketing, marketing to that database. So when we prospect and market, that's the entire point of that is to generate leads and build stronger relationships for future business. And you know, in the MREA book, we talk about marketing-based, prospecting enhanced. So to generate the level, the level of numbers that you need in order to make your business work, you're gonna to need to follow a highly leveraged lead generation plan, right? Marketing-based, prospecting enhanced. Now in a shifted market, what you'll see is um, prospecting-based, marketing enhanced, and yet they do go together. Um, the cool part is marketing is, is that leveraged activity. So you can generate the number of leads that you'll need and you know that prospecting may not get you there. Um, though on the flip side of that, if you only market, um, then you're gonna keep your business in a, in a reactive state. Um, you don't have any control over what your business is gonna look like. And when you're, and so it definitely is a two part, not a one or the other, you wanna do both of them. Um, and then we wanna set up the, the database and we want to feed it. So let's look at the prospecting and marketing. And of course, you've seen this right out of the MREA. Where we start the eight by eight or the 33 touch. Now, the cool part of how this breaks down, and you may see me jump around some today, just bear with me. When we classify your database, um, and this is, you want to make sure that you're classifying. Now, you might have a whole lot of ways to classify your database. So, for instance, you might have buyers in certain type of price points. You might have um, buyers in certain type of areas. And yet, ultimately, for our database, these are the these are the key pieces. So, you have your core advocates, right? Now, our core advocates, those are what we would determine as our raving fans. These are people that are we're targeting to send us two or more great referrals a year two or more, right? Now, the ones that are the core advocates, these are the ones that we're actually going to, we want to call them once a month or go see them once a month. These are our pop buys, right? And our goal is to get to at least 25 of these. And yet, that's going to be a huge, huge piece of that. Give me one second, we've got. Okay, so I just, there was some static in the background, so I went ahead and re-muted everyone. Okay, so um, we want to make sure that our raving fans, so again, core advocates are raving fans. We're targeting them for two or more referrals a year. Then you have your advocates. They have sent business to you in the past. Our target is for them to send one great referral a year. Now these people, you know, they're probably gonna get a call every two months. And then you have your network. These are people that know you, they like you, just as of yet, they have not sent any business your way. These would be your quarterly calls, okay? So that's kind of an, an explanation of how we go through with your database. Now, one of the things that you'll see with like under the allied resources, 
because again, let me go right here. So allied resources, you've got your core advocates, your advocates, and then your allied resources. So they are a select subset of your MET, right? These are probably your lenders, um, because with really, realistically with your lender, are you getting referrals from them? Have you asked for referrals from them? Because this would be a great piece if you haven't already. You want to identify who are your allied resources? Who are you sending business to and who are you expecting to send business back to you? Because if they're not sending business back to you, you're going to do, you're going to educate them, you're going to ask for their help, and then you're going to reward the um, the referrals, right? Them, reward them for sending you the referrals. So again, I'm just throwing in some of the, the pages from the MREA so that you know that how important it is that you go back and read through those pages. 